my floor because I have a project that I want to do working on a shelf and it brought me to think about something that I wanted to share with you when I was younger I used to have this thing where I was always questioning what's my gift my sister she's an amazing artist from when she was young she would look at something and then she just can recreate it on a piece of paper pants jeans most of my clothing was designed by my sister at a young age and it kind of made me jealous a little bit and I can admit this now it's my confession it made me jealous because I always thought well why can't I be an artist it seemed like she was getting all the attention because she knew how to draw everybody wanted or need to do something for them as far as create something and I wanted people to want that from me I think the reason why I was so jealous about my sister having a gift was because I didn't understand what a gift was I kept thinking or I mistaken gift for talent. That's what it was. My sister could draw. She had a gift because of how naturally it came to her because it was her passion. But at the time, I'm thinking, oh, she got a great talent. And I don't have one. I can't sing. I can't dance. I can't draw. I can't play sports. So what is my talent? And, and, and so what is my gift? And that was where my jealousy lied because, I, one, I was mistaking gift for talent. And I kept acknowledging the things that I couldn't do instead of looking for the things that I could do. And that's what forced me, that's what pushed me towards um, basically creating a gift, like learning and challenging myself to do things. I would try to develop a talent. But that's not what a gift is. That's not a, what a gift actually is. That's probably what the stem of my jealousy came from. So for a long time, I challenged myself to try different things. And I believe I learned a lot because I was trying to find what was my gift. So I pushed myself to learn new things, um, constantly challenging myself to do more do more what's next what's next and I realized that the reason why I challenged myself the reason why it was a challenge is because it wasn't something that naturally came to me yes I could do it yes um, I was able to achieve the desired result but it wasn't a passion it wasn't something that I felt in my heart yes I like doing this this is what I want to do and this is what I want to share with everyone I'm great with my hands I wrote books I recreated things like now I'm working on a DIY project and it wasn't things that, these are things that I like to do for myself. They are my hobbies. However, are they gifts that I want to share with everyone? No. If anyone asks me, oh, Danette, could you write something for me? I'd be like, probably not. I really don't want to. Or if someone said, uh, Danette, could you build something for me? I'm probably going to think about it for a very long time. I like helping out my friends, but for one particular task, especially if it's something that my heart is not drawn to, I probably won't do it. So, um, it took me a long time to discover what is my gift? What is it that I do? I do it well. I would do it for free if you ask me. And I put my whole heart into it and it just draws at my heart if I do not do it. And the one thing that I could always think of is giving back. I, I can't tell you, I can't describe enough how much it fills me with joy to help someone else. And that's crazy because it's like I live my whole life just to serve the community. And I like that. I really enjoy it. It's, that's my passion. And I guess that's my gift. My gift is to be there for you my friends, my family, just to be that constant ear, the shoulder, the supporter, and whatever it is that I can do, the little things that I have learned trying to find my gift, I use that to help you. So I say all this to say, do not become discouraged if you see that you have not found your gift yet. 
I'm 39 years old and it took me two today to realize that it's okay. It's a learning process. You're not going to wake up and know right away, this is my gift. This is what I'm going, this is what God has blessed me to do. Um, my sister, yeah, she was born with it. I'm sure she didn't realize it at three or four years old. Wow, I'm a, I'm an artist. I can do this. And up to today, she loves to draw. That's her gift. But does she do it as her job? Mm -mm. That's something that she's passionate about. She will do it for free if you ask her. But it's not her job. My job is not serving the community. I'm in security. That's what I like to do. I guess your passion can be something that you want to do as a job or something that you may do as your career. Let me say career, not job. But for me, I, I like to keep it separate. I like my passion to be my what I'm doing for my life and my career to be totally different. And it works for me that way. It kind of gives me an equal balance. So if you have not discovered your gift yet and you're still trying to figure out what is your passion? It's okay. You have time to figure it out. That's what life is about. It's about learning. It's about trial and error. It's about getting to know who you are and not allowing others to pressure you into something they want you to be. I could imagine if I allowed everyone to tell me what my passion is, I'd probably be doing books still. Everyone loved my books. But it wasn't what I was passionate about. I like writing. I do. I love writing. But it was more to purge. Get out those feelings and emotions that I wasn't ready to express to individuals one-on-one. -on -one. That's what my writing was. My creativity, doing the DIYs, again, these are things that I use to purge. At the end of the day, when I just want to calm down and let it all out, DIY, blinging out my planner, arts and craft, those are things that help me relax. Is it my passion? Mm -mm. If I wouldn't get out right now and do what my passion is, I'd probably be out there feeding someone. There's days I want to get in my kitchen and cook, cook, cook so I can go deliver it to someone. If I could go door to door, make sure that everyone had heat and blankets, that's my passion. And I didn't know that. <laughs> How about that? I like to bring the community together also. It's not about just getting into the community and what can I do for the community. I really would like to bring the community back together. And that's why my heart is so drawn to our Teen Clean Experience mission um, and all the other things that Our Ladies Club is looking forward to for 2016. Um, like I said, if you are still trying to figure out what your passion is, Excuse my phone. If you're still trying to figure out your passion, that's okay. It's going to come to you in God's time. Don't allow anyone to pressure you into someone you're not. I love you. Be blessed. And as always, peace. If you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified of our next upload. See you then. Bye.